Hello guys, this is Mike from mcprogramming.org. Uh, today I'm going to talk about what the word static means. You've seen it a few times, uh, especially in this main method. And what static means, pretty much, is uh, within a class, we've seen how we can create instance variables, is what they're called. Uh, let me create a class real quick so I can show you. I'm going to say class... Um, say capitals after the Washington Capitals uh, hockey team my hometown team and we're going to set an instance variable uh, which is I'm going to call this public right now uh, public string name and then I'm going to say public I'm going to use the word static string and let's call this team name and we can already say this is going to be capitals and in case y'all don't know it's the Washington Capitals okay so what static means is it's a class variable so team when you instantiate an object uh, the if there's an in, every instance variable may have a unique value to that particular object where a static variable or static method is the same for every object and is called a class variable or a class method so let's get an example of this um, public let's just create a constructor capitals um, let's take in a string name. Uh, name equals name. And let's make a two string method. Ugh, excuse me, public and return type string. And to string empty parentheses and then we are going to uh, let's just return a string and say name dot or concatenate that with plays for So let's instantiate a player real quick on the capitals. Let's say capitals uh, Ovechkin equals new capitals, instantiate a capitals object, and we're going to use a string and just say Alex Ovechkin. Okay. Now let's uh, let's print this out real quick. System dot print line. Uh, Ovechkin. Okay, so it says Alex Ovechkin plays for the Washington Capitals. Let's create a new object real quick. Capitals, uh, let's say Nicky, Nick Batchkin equals new. Capitals, Nicholas Batchkin. And let's just copy and paste this. A uh, shortcut for copy and paste would be to highlight it, do control C, and then if you want to paste it, do control V. It's a lazy programmer shortcut. Nikki. As you notice, uh, we're using the two string for both of these. Uh, both of these um, objects and the setup is name which is an instance variable so it can be unique for each one which it is these are two different names but the string name team name uh, is static which means it's going to be the same for every object created out of this capitals class so here we go those are the same um, 
I'm going to show you when this is public. Let's get rid of this constructor for now. Um, yeah, let's just delete the constructor. Take this out. Take this out. I'm going to actually explain also why you should always name your variables uh, private. When they're public from a different class right here, we can say Nikki.name equals Nicholas Backstrom. So we can we can change values because it's public. Uh, that's a uh, visibility modifier. Public means it's public to any other class uh, that is instantiated in. So we can view this. We can change it, manipulate it. That's not always the best thing. So. Let's see what happens if I turn this private. There's an error right here. Let's see what it says. Change visibility of name to default. Well, I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to change it back to public. Okay, so um, and let's let's get rid of this. I'll just set it up. So we are going to. Uh, give team name uh, a name. So we don't have to say Nikki or a Vetchkin to call team name because it's static. We're going to use the class name. It's a class variable. So capitals dot and then you get a list of things you can change right here. Dot team name equals Washington Let's also do a Vetchkin just so I can reprint these out and show you this is the same thing. Oops, Vetchkin dot right here. See the little circle with the white hole in it? That's a uh, a field or a variable that you can use. You can use that and give him his name, Alex Ovechkin. I keep spelling it Ovechkin. There we go. So let's print this out. It's the same thing. Um, but, like I said, the best practice is to always use private. Uh, sometimes you want to use public or protected uh, based on inheritance. Um, that that's gets a little bit more in depth, probably quite a few videos away. But that's an important part of object-oriented programming, so we'll definitely have to get into that. But for now, we are going over static, and we can also go over final, public, let's see, static, final. I don't know if final and static really have a certain order they go in, but let's just say final, and we're going to initialize this, because for the capitals, their team name's always going to be final. Uh, and to do this, well, actually... The, the variable name should always be capitalized every letter and in between words they should be an underscore so we're going to say team underscore name right here we'll say Washington capitals okay so forever on unless you change up here when you use team name I'll change that too It's always Washington Capitals. It's final and is static. So that's the customary way of naming them. Where before you saw for the customary way of naming a variable is to uh, start it with a, the first word is lowercase. And then every other word after that starts with a capital letter. And... Let's see, capitals, no. We don't need this line anymore. Let's see what happens when we print this out. See the same thing. So, there's a, a quick little video of 
what static means. Um, we can go a little bit more in depth with it. So if anybody has any questions, uh, please write a comment below and I will try to get back to you. Or you can email me at mike at mcprogramming.org. And that's also my website, mcprogramming.org. Uh, as of right now, it's not the best website, but I plan on working on it. i um, just been very busy with school and um, you know, taking care of the family and all that. But please subscribe to my YouTube channel and, and spread the word. I'm, I'm really trying to help others uh, the way that other YouTube tutorials have helped me. Th this was a lifesaver for me, so I'm trying to just give back. So thank you very much for watching, and I will talk to you all later.